Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a scenario based on record trigger flow. Let's understand the requirement of record trigger flow scenario first. So in this video, I'm going to demo how you can use delete record element. So the requirement is when an opportunity is set as closed lost, then we need to delete that opportunity record. Right. So I'm going to create new flow, selecting record trigger flow. Now here I'm selecting object as opportunity and a record is updated. Now here I need to set the condition. So if opportunity stays is equals to close lost, right? And I'm selecting this option, like uh, this option says only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement. It means earlier stays was something other than close lost. Now you updated and it is close lost. And this particular field is updated, right? So you can read this help text as well. Perhaps you want the flow to run only when the triggering record is changed from not meeting the condition requirements to meeting the condition requirements. When that's the case, choose the second option, right? And uh, let's select fast feed update because we need to do operation with the same record. And let's check whether delete record. Okay, delete record is not available. So we need to choose this second option, actions and related record. So here you will see delete record is available, right? So we need to delete the record. So here we have two options. Use the ID stored in a record variable or record collection variable. So we don't have that. We need to specify the condition. Sorry. So I need to select the opportunity object. And here I need to provide ID equals and then record dot ID. So whenever you update any record, so that record th that you updated through which this record trigger flow will be uh, triggering. So that records ID or all the fields information will be available in this dollar record variable. So from there, you can just have the ID. So this delete record element will be uh, deleting the record whose ID will be matching with this record dot ID. And then I am clicking on done. So this way delete record element is available now. I can save it. So naming it as delete, apport delete opportunity and I'm saving it. Now I'm just clicking on activate. So now just watch the demo carefully because whenever I will be updating any opportunity to close lost. So you will see some error like uh, it will say like your record is not available to view because once you change the stage, the record trigger flow will work and that record trigger flow will delete your opportunity and it will go to recycle bin. So if your record is not available under this tab, so uh, Salesforce will uh, throw some error. So as I hit on save, you will see an error message. So it is saying the requested resource doesn't exist, right? It is visible, but now you can't save because it is deleted. So opportunity name is account 2203. If I go to tab again, so you can click on discard changes, but uh, here you won't see the opportunity. If you search for recycle bin, so there you will find your opportunity record. So you can see account 2203 is available here. So we deleted this opportunity. So it is available right now. Okay. So this way, if you want to apply delete record element in the flow, so this is a simple use case, which I used, but in your case, use case may be different, but uh, this is the way how delete record element works. And whenever you delete any record through flow, you can just uh, go and check those records in the recycle bin. 